Hello and welcome to the Story Shed. It's a lovely day outside. It's very sunny and it's very quiet. Just the birds in the trees. So it's a lovely time for me to read a story. And today's story I would like to dedicate to Grayson, who turned five. And although it's not his birthday anymore, I'm going to do this because I want to. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grayson. Happy birthday to you. And now, Grayson, you know why it's the story shed and not the singing shed, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. But I do have a story for you, so sit back, relax, and hopefully enjoy it. It's a Danish story that's been adapted by a lady called Tasha Gunther. And it is the story of Chicken Licking. The sky is falling. So, let's begin. There once was a big farm near a vast field, and here there lived a chicken named Chicken Lickin. She was great friends with everyone, and those who knew her liked her a lot. She was a tiny chicken. The other chickens in the yard would tease her for her size. They often called her Chicken Lickin. Now, surprisingly, Chicken Lickin liked the name, but the name she liked the most was her own, because Chicken Lickin rhymed perfectly. It was sweet, and it was her favourite name. One morning, as Chicken Lickin was plucking worms in the hen yard, an acorn dropped from a tree right onto her head. She had no idea what had hit her, and so she started shouting, The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The sky is falling! She ran around in circles for a while, calmed herself, and then got down to waddling. She had to tell the king. She waddled and waddled and waddled until she found her friend, Rooster Booster. What's the matter, Chicken Licken? he asked. Oh, Rooster Booster, the, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. And we must tell the king, she cried. Oh, we must. We must, he cried back. Chicken Licken and Rooster Booster waddled and waddled and waddled until they saw their friend Ducky Lucky. Now Ducky Lucky was basking in the sun near the pond's edge when he noticed the two chickens fast approaching. Chicken Lickin! Rooster Booster! Hello! Fine day, isn't it? Ducky Lucky giggled and splashed into the water. Oh! Ducky Lucky! The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The sky is falling and we must tell the king. Oh, we must. We definitely must, Rooster Booster chimed in. Ducky Lucky bounded from the pond and joined his friends immediately. As he shook his little webbed feet free of water, he felt the warm sun dry them quickly and wondered how the sky could fall on a warm summer's day such as this one. He looked at the concern on his friends' faces and shrugged his wonders away. Chicken Lickin, Rooster Booster and Ducky Lucky waddled and waddled until they met up with Goosey Lucy, who was floating with ease at the other end of the pond. Oh, Goosey Lucy, Chicken Lickin began. The sky is falling, the sky is falling, and we must tell the king. Oh, we must, we certainly must, Rooster Booster chimed in. Ducky Lucky looked back up at the blazing sun and again wondered how the sky could fall on a warm summer's day like this one. Goosey Lucy wanted to protect her foul friends, and she wanted to join them on their journey to the nearby palace. But she had a question about the sky above. Chicken Lickin! She started. How do you know the sky is falling? Well, it, it, it fell right on my head, she answered. Goosey Lucy puffed her chest feathers instantly and moved right along shrugging her questions away. 
Chicken Lickin, Rooster Booster, Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy waddled and waddled and waddled until they came to the farm fence. They noticed the eccentric Turkey Lurkey pecking on the other side. Oh, Turkey Lurkey, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. We must alert the king, Chicken Lickin squealed. Oh, we must. If we do nothing else, we must, Rooster Booster chimed in. Again, Ducky Lucky, now hot as ever and missing the pond, wondered how the sky could fall on a warm summer's day like this one. Goosey Lucy again asked aloud, how do we know the sky is falling? It fell right on my head. I told you, it fell on my head. Chicken Lickin shouted in desperation. Now, Turkey Lurkey stopped pecking and turned to the group. Rooster Booster, did you see the sky fall? Mm, no, I didn't, the rooster replied quietly. And Ducky Lucky, you look strained. How are you feeling? Turkey Lurkey asked. Well, I'm, I'm concerned, I'm hot, and I'm wondering how the sky could be falling on such a beautiful day. And Goosey Lucy, Turkey Lurkey turned to the burly bird. You didn't see any sky falling, did you? Mm, no, uh, no, I didn't, the goose responded. Ha! Ah, well then, I will come with you on your merry way, but we've all got some doubts, chicken licking, the turkey said with glee. He was interested to see where this adventure would go. Chicken Lickin, Rooster Booster, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy and Dirky Lurky waddled and waddled and waddled until they could see the palace just beyond the farmer's field. As they waddled over the last hill of the vast field, they saw a flash of reddish brown before them. It was Mr Fox. None of the foul friends had met this sly creature before, but they'd heard rumours of his trickery and appetite. Chicken Lickin and Rooster Booster were oblivious, though, and desperate to keep moving. Ducky Lucky suddenly shivered, forgetting the day's heat, while Goosey Lucy's chest became even puffier. Turkey Lurkey just stopped and smiled. Hello, 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 said the fox. Oh, Mr. Fox, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, and we must tell the king, Chicken Lickin shouted. Oh, we, we must. I think we definitely must. And to be honest, we must, Rooster Booster chimed in, but the other birds stayed silent. Ah, uh, yes, the sky is falling, and I know where the king is, replied a delighted Mr Fox. He licked his lips and gestured the birds to follow him past a large tree and back over the hill. Chicken Lickin and Rooster Booster began to waddle and waddle in the direction of Mr Fox. Turkey Lurkey whispered something to Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy and then the three waddled closely behind the rest. As Mr Fox led Chicken Lickin and Rooster Booster into a hole in the hill just under the tree, Ducky Lucky bounded into action. There was a small patch of water beside the opening and the duck giggled with delight as he splashed his feet loudly. Rooster Booster and Mr Fox emerged from the hole suddenly distracted by all the quacking and splashing. Goosey Brucey looked at Turkey Lurkey who gave the signal and stood right under the tree over the hole. The goose puffed its chest out as hard as possible and bumped the trunk causing the tree to shake. Several acorns fell 
covering the hole and hitting Mr. Fox, knocking him out <sighs> cold. Turkey Lurkey pecked and pecked and pecked up the acorns until there was just enough room for the tiny chicken to escape out of the hole. Chicken little indeed. By now, she'd seen the acorns collapse and knew what had fallen on her head earlier. Chicken Lickin, Rooster Booster, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey waddled and waddled back home to safety. Chicken Lickin hugged her foul friends and kissed Turkey Lurkey on the cheek, grateful that the fox hadn't eaten them and that the world wasn't ending. Instead, they all lived happily ever after. And that's the end of the story of Chicken Lickin. And as you know, the, the sky didn't fall in. So I hope that Grayson, you enjoyed that story and I hope everyone else enjoyed it. If you did, if you did, then you can write to us at the story shed blog at gmail.com. That's the story shed blog at gmail.com. Send us any stories that you've written or let us know if we can make things better in the story shed. And in the meantime, Take very good care and be well and bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.